Have you ever found yourself becoming disheartened when you haven't been able to achieve your goals? A lot of people do. Hi, this is Mike Pettigrew, best-selling author and serial entrepreneur since 1987, and I help ordinary people to achieve extraordinary goals, but possibly not in the way you might think. And a lot of people come to me and they tell me they just, they've lost all motivation towards achieving their goals. They've simply given up because they've encountered challenges and setbacks and I completely get that I completely relate to that because I've experienced this myself in the past and but there are things there are things that we can do to inject raw motivation more power and more energy into our goals even though we're encountering setbacks and challenges and I'll get into that in just a moment but I just want to say before we get started if you want to get to your next level of success, abundance, freedom, and wealth, check out my Ultimate Success Club. It's at achievegoalsfast.com forward slash USC. So when people come to me and tell me that they've given up on their goals and they've lost their motivation and momentum, how do you get your motivation back? Well, I think it's really important that everyone, that everybody reads the words of the, some of the greatest people that have ever lived. People who have encountered huge challenges and setbacks, but have accomplished major things for the world. So if you look out into society, there are so many people over the, over the last century that have completely changed the world. And if you look at their lives carefully, what you'll find is that virtually every one of these world changers encountered huge challenges and huge setbacks but did not give up. So reading, reading daily motivational material is really important because it's very hard to sustain our energy and vitality and forward momentum unless we are feeding our own mind, unless we are feeding our own mind with motivating material. So that's, that's number one. Another way of reigniting your dreams is to take one daily action towards achieving that goal. Just one little baby step because you know what when you constantly take small actions towards your goal you have a forward momentum. You have en en you gain energy but if you just give up on them nothing happens. Nothing happens. So you don't have to leap forwards at 100 miles an hour just taking one daily action even if it's a tiny action towards achieving your goal. That in of itself gives you more energy, gives you more, more power, motivation and momentum. So that's number two. And number three is using the power of affirmations to instruct your subconscious mind to achieve your goals. Now, what are affirmations? Well, I've made several videos about this. And if you go to my website at achievegoalsfast.com, you will find uh, instructions how to create affirmations. But basically affirmations are positive empowering statements you make to yourself aloud morning and evening with emotion. And this, why are affirmations so important? Well, affirmations speak the language of the subconscious. Most of your mind is actually made up of your, of your subconscious mind, not your conscious mind. Your subconscious mind is the part of you that makes your heart beat and your lungs breathe and regulates all the processes of, of the body. And it's an amazing part of your mind because you can embed instructions in your subconscious mind, things that you want it to do. And you know what? It's amazing how the subconscious mind actually steers your life. You get ideas coming into your mind, which appear to be out of the blue. All sorts of amazing synchronicities. This is the working of the subconscious mind. So if you've lost your motivation towards achieving your goals by embedding affirmations morning and evening into your subconscious mind, it will keep you energized and enthused. And also it will enable you to, you to achieve your goals far more quickly. This has been proved by millions of people all around the world. Using affirmations is amazing. Or if you don't want to use affirmations, you could use self-hypnosis. It can have exactly the same effect. And the fourth thing that I would suggest to you, the fourth tip, is to do gratitude practices. You know what? When you have lost your motivation, generally speaking, you're feeling, you know, a bit upset about life and a bit disheartened. And most people, when they hit that sort of uh, wall, 
they start to have well they start to complain internally if only this and if only that and this should be this way and this should be that way but you know what gratitude and complaint are two opposites if you have a, if you uh, have a very complaining uh, attitude you actually push away all sorts of amazing synchronicities and possibilities from occurring in your life but if you enhance your gratitude if you do simple daily gratitude practices it actually firstly it draws all sorts of amazing synchronicities into your life it's like a magnet but it also opens your mind to all sorts of possibilities it changes your perspective and whereas we may have before felt disheartened and complaining it gives you an opening to all sorts of new possibility gratitude is amazing gratitude is amazing so I hope this has helped you if you're ready to get to your next level of success abundance freedom and wealth do check out my ultimate success club at achievegoalsfast.com forward slash USC thank you so much for watching I look forward to speaking with you again very soon